Welcome guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today we're inside my garage with the black Maserati GT. So in the thumbnail you probably saw the white one, so we're going back in time, back in 2018, back when we still had the white 2013 Maserati. Today we're gonna go over a common problem that you might occur if you own a Maserati GT2. This is actually part one of two. The second problem you're less likely to come across. So I'm gonna explain it a slightly more in, in the video, but yeah, we're going back in time, back in 2018, when I kind of first started, well, it's not really where I first started doing YouTube, but you know, it was way back in the day. Yeah, going back in time, so enjoy. spilled on the floor so when I arrived home I was looking under the car I was like what the hell is going on because like oh, there's all this water and coolant everywhere I tried filling it up with water and everything and all that water just spilled out everywhere without even me turning it on so basically there's a hose holding all the coolant and this hose is known to break because it's kind of like tires like it deteriorates over time it's rubber you know it's understandable there's several hoses but this little one located way way in the back against the firewall right here. And the only way to get to it, unfortunately, is to drop the engine. And when I looked online, the quote, you know, you guys are not gonna believe this, it's absolutely insane. But some people got quoted like two, three grand, and one individual got charged eight grand, which is absolutely, so what I did is I took it to an independent shop, and it ended up being $1,000 to fix, fix just that, which is kind of an absurd about, you know what I mean, just to fix one hose, but you know, them walking me through what they have to do, they have to raise the car up and all this other stuff. Uh, I'm not too sure what the, exactly the process is, but you know, comparing it to the values of what the other guys have been quoted for, 1,000 was, okay. you know, I didn't bite the bullet, so. Yeah, no, I understand, yeah. Yeah, uh, and then also what got it, what ended up getting done is the changing the brake fluid, which costed $150, $150, and then also the brakes got done. The brakes, the brake pads alone were 350 bucks, and then the labor for them was another 350. That was a lot too, but so in total, I spent 1,700 bucks getting this car fixed. 1,000 for the common problem, and 700 for the brake fluid and the brakes. So, just want to share that problem with you guys. It's something to definitely consider. My problem occurred at 42,000 miles, about. So, just to kind of expect that. I mean. So far, there hasn't been anything wrong with this car, knock on wood, you know, wherever wood is. But I'm so grateful that this, this car is drives absolutely like a dream. I mean, no no issues except for that, you know. I expect one or two problems with it being, it being a used car, but, you know, it is what it is. And that's all I want to say for today. So, so thank you guys for watching this episode. Thank you, Justin, for filming me. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.